This is Neptune. It's an 8 LFO Eurorack module. It's what's playing the CAT synthesizer at the moment with three LFOs, two going into uh, the oscillator volt per octave for oscillator 1 and 2 and the third one just going into filter modulation. It's all quantized and the range has been set within Neptune itself. The guts of Neptune is actually based on a VST synth, one of my favourite VST synths called Arxin. And the module's made by SBC Plugins, which is the maker of Arxin. And in very basic terms, the 256 waveforms from Arxin have been ported over into Neptune. And a lot of the quite, I think, extraordinary abilities of Arxin as a modulation beast have been incorporated into this module. So, what we've got is 256 waveforms. I'll just choose one of the LFOs that's not going at the moment. 256 LFO waveforms. It includes lots of evolving waveforms, randomizer. As you scroll through, you see some of them here. And the final firmware, these I think are going to be grouped a little bit differently to make it obvious which ones are the randomizer ones, which ones are the evolving ones, and which ones are just a fixed shape. But there are all sorts of very interesting waveforms. Now it takes an external clock, so you can sync the LFOs. You can have some of them synced, you can have some of them free running. You can divide the clock speed or multiply the clock speed on a per LFO basis. There's also a reset, so you can restart the LFOs running. That's particularly important if you've got it in, for example, one-shot mode. So you can have particular LFOs that you select and then say, well, I'll just have that as a one-shot and that one-shot will be triggered whenever it gets a reset command here. Now there's a lot to go through on this machine and I won't attempt to do it all today, but merely to say, pressing this gets you in the mode select button. So red is the default. Green is range. And so then if we press that again, you can see positive or positive and negative range. Press that to back out. Blue is level. So if we look at the little number there, that's actually in semitones. So 60 is five octaves, four octaves, three octaves, two octaves, one octave, and then individual semitones. So you can limit an LFO's range in semitones or octaves. The light blue is merge, and if we go into that, we've got average, difference, multiply, maximum, minimum, gate, invert, and, or, zor, interleave, slice, so there are all sorts of very interesting merge functions and that's so you can have one LFO's uh, waveform cascading into the next and those two waveforms then will interact according to whatever the merge command happens to be. But the mode we'll have a look at today is... Oops, is quantized actually if we go into this one going to quantize and now we 
can see in the quantize there are 16 scales so we're changing that high tone right now let's put it back into minor and then with the filter say if we go into level See at the moment it was limited to about 12 semitones in relative level, but if we take it all the way up, so now it's got a five octave range. You can also have that selected and then select different waveforms. So that's the filter waveform. Let's try that. Lower it down. But I'm getting a little bit... Off track here. How about... We start with these last three. Now from all that, as you can see, there's a hell of a lot to go through. So let's just start with the quantizer just for today. So select the waveform. It's on a sine wave. Turn off PCO1 uh, for now. So there it is on a sine wave. Let's just see whether Actually, let's make sure it's oh, so there's divide we could slow it down we could multiply it oh. let's just go back to the basic mode Sure, we're in sync. Now let's go into the quantizer. Press to select. Now choose a scale. Let's just go minor. to positives only. Positive and negative. Yeah, let's have positive and negative. And then in the range, oops, the level. I always get level and range mixed up. Two octaves, three octaves, four octaves. Let's just have one octave. But maybe that waveform is a bit boring, so let's change that. not too bad. Let's take another LFO and go into pitch of the first oscillator. Turn the first oscillator back on. Select the other waveform. Yeah, because it's pretty horrible, isn't it? So let's quickly deal with that. Let's, uh, let's go into quantize. Minor. Turn that down a bit.
Yeah, I could sit here for some time. Looking at all the different waveforms. I wonder whether I have some older. I had a merge command on. Well, that's the curse of it, remembering everything that you do. Right, that's better. sort of wonder about that merge command though. It's sort of interesting. Let's go back into that. get some strange things happening if you wanted to all just two LFOs going into Vault Proactive. The beauty is you don't need any extra VCAs or quantizers. Anything like that to get something pretty strange and complex happening. it off just for now. Let's put one more in. Let's go into the filter. Prototype. These knobs will obviously 
become endless encoders, the faceplate will get a bit of a redesign, probably be a little cover across this OLED screen here. Cost wise, I think it's going to be somewhere in the range of about uh, 350 euro bucks. And should be out in small batches sometime early in 2024. Now, if you're interested in exploring more of Neptune, please let me know and we'll look at some of the other crazy things it can do. Until next time, see ya.